Hi guys and welcome back to Everyday May here on We Film Things. We are doing a video every single day in May, which is crazy. But do you know what else is crazy? Is the length of my hair right now. I mean, honestly, no normal human has hair this long. It's only hot beach babes and hippies. And to be honest, I'm not cool enough to pull off either of those looks. So we need to do something about it. But the reason my hair is this long is because I have been patiently growing it so that I can donate it to the Little Princess Trust. If you've never heard of the Little Princess Trust, it's an amazing charity that provides real hair wigs to young people and little children who have suffered hair loss as a result of cancer treatment or other medical reasons. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll know how important your hair is to the way you look, the way you feel about yourself. And if there's anything that we can do to make young people feel a little bit better in their worst and darkest hour, then we should definitely be doing that. So I will be donating my hair today, which I'm super excited about. Also, it's just a really easy thing to do. All you have to do is take care of your hair for a while until it grows to a long enough length and then you can donate it. There is no reason that anybody can't be doing this. But first we need to make sure my hair is long enough so I'm gonna get Jack to measure it. Looking at their website, your hair has to be a minimum of 17 centimeters, that's about seven inches. But they recommend that you grow your hair to about 30 centimeters, which is 12 inches. I think I'm at that length now. Their greatest need though is for hair that is 16 inches or longer, which is about 41 centimeters. So if your hair is that long and you're thinking of giving it a cut, then I would definitely recommend looking into this. I've just booked myself in for a cut. It is done. And I'm back and I have new hair. Look at this. I'm super happy with it. So I went to a place called Pimps and Pinups, which is in London's Shoreditch. It's just like a really fun hair studio. My hairdresser was called Cher and she's super lovely. I really enjoyed my whole experience there. I wanted a studio that wasn't too like prim and proper. The steps to actually donating your hair are first off, you need to wash your hair and dry it thoroughly. So I actually washed and dried my hair the night before so that it would be super dry when I went into the studio. Then you have to put your hair in a ponytail um, at the point where you want to cut it off and either braid it down or tie it at intervals along the length of the hair so that it's nice and bunched up together. Just taking the pleats at the front are just a little bit lower just because it does jump up a bit. But sure. Yeah, so. And then you just cut above the hairband of the ponytail. So we'll probably take it off with the clippers as well. Yeah. It actually takes ages with the scissors. <laughs> That's so satisfying. Look oh. at that. It is done. Look at this. You okay? Is there anything else you want to touch up on? Or? No, I'm like super happy. This is my hair. Look at these braids. Then you would just pop the ponytails or braids into a Ziploc bag. How weird does that look? Pop that inside a cardboard or heavyweight paper envelope include your completed donation slip. You can download their donation slip online and I will leave a link down below where you can do that. And then you send it off to their address. Make sure that you've weighed your envelope, you've paid the proper postage so that your hair doesn't come back to you and it actually gets to where it's meant to get to. But yeah, it's as simple as that. If you have really long hair and you're thinking of making the chop and going short, then why not donate your hair anyway? You're not gonna use it for anything. So you might as well send it off to a good cause. That is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a little like. I'd be very grateful. And remember, we're making videos every single day this month. So give us a subscribe if you would like to see more of those. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.